Hello, this is the sixth in the middle way approach. So the polarity, the way that our attention bifurcates or separates our experience that we're going to pay attention this time is the, the relationship between the body and the mind. Now, we can have an attitude towards our practice of meditation in which, uh, which is not helpful. We can say, well, it's all about the body or it's all about the mind. But actually, the reality is that the mind and the body are completely un inseparable. Uh, they affect each other all the time. And part of uh, a middle way approach is to be able to take on and practice uh, an awareness that actually takes in the continually changing relationship between the body and the mind and how the body is always reflecting in some way or another uh, your qualities of mind and your mind is affected also by your body. And to take that awareness on, not just in an abstract theoretical idea level, but actually as a, an experiential approach that you are actually entering into uh, an awareness which has a synthesis of both the body and the mind in all its richness. And here I don't mean mind just in terms of uh, thinking mind. So one of the ways that you can approach this is by starting by with say, for example, the body. So when you are uh, setting up your meditation and you set up your poise, so you're feeling settled in the lower part of your body, calm, relaxed, open, and a sense of uplift and poise and attentiveness in the upper part of your body. On the basis of that, you then decide to check and adjust your body periodically for signs of falling away from a middle way uh, synthesis of, uh, that includes, in, in the positive sense, this calmness and attentiveness and energy uplift. When you fall away from that into falling away from the object, falling into uh, a less energy approach, less engaged, or going away into mind energy or even physical uh, excitation, uh, thinking about food or sex or ideas about for planning. And when you notice this in your body, that's the time when you can adjust. So let's say, for example, a very good place to start is the head, actually. Just aware of what happens when the head sort of droops. Again, ah, is this expressive of something in the mind in which there's less attention, less energy, less engagement? And if you notice that it is uh, an expression of that, you can start with just readjusting the head and consciously bringing in a, a sense of more attention, coming closer into the experience of what the meditation or awareness is about. More intentionality, more determination. And in that way, the, the, the body is a barometer, it's a sounding board, it's a biofeedback of what is happening with your attention so that you can adjust. And at the same time, you, or in the same vein, you might notice that periodically your body is very tight and, and tense. And this is an expression 
of forcing and pushing and you adjust by actually loosening the face, loosening your hands if they're clenched and having the intention to come lower into the body perhaps, look for calmness and openness. And in this way your awareness of the body in relationship to the mind helps you come into the qualities of the synth positive synthesis of attention and awareness.